All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk X-Men. <clears throat> so, uh, Disney has released the X-Men 97 trailer, and there's been a lot of controversy around the character of Morph and uh, Wolverine, and particularly changing Morph into a non-binary character. Now, my issue with that is that, of course, they specifically state that it would be Wolverine that he is uh, uh, has a special relationship with. And all I said in a little short was that, that I have a problem with that. You don't fuck with the original characters, especially Wolverine, who's like your flagship for X-Men. Um, and, of course, you know, people got butthurt, as a lot of people are going to do, especially on the internet and definitely on Twitter. Um, but, you know, a lot of people brought up the one argument point that Stan Lee meant them to be this way. Stan Lee created them specifically for this purpose and i got some stuff that says that that's not true from stan lee himself and just to piss off some more people i got it from a source y'all or at least most of y'all ain't gonna fucking like eric july that's right i believe d-day cobra calls him the black stan lee and the reason why i specifically went for eric is because i know i can trust what he says and uh, the second thing is, is, well, the reason why also I say I can trust what he says is he pulls directly from the source. I believe he calls it bringing receipts, you know, evidence, something that a lot of people that comment on my videos and my shorts do not care to bring. They like to say, oh, go check this out. Okay. I I do. And it says nothing. You guys don't drop links because you're too lazy to fucking do that. I had some, I dropped a link for somebody. I don't even know if they watched it because they didn't care to comment back which is perfectly fine that's on them that's their business if they don't want to do that that's fine but eric had and ironically i think he put the video out today which works or well yesterday as of the uh, time i put this up actually um where he has actual video or not video um audio recorded from stanley saying that that didn't happen and Here's the clip for that. Listen in. <laughs> I mean, there there are things like that that people catch that you may not have even known that you were putting in there. But you obviously... are so right. Now, take the X-Men. I was just originally trying to get an interesting group of characters with interesting powers, and I thought it would make it twice as interesting if the public really didn't like them that much. And um, if they had a worry about their reception by the outside world, little by little, I began, I began getting mail saying how great it is that I'm doing these stories about bigotry and the evils of, of bigotry and so forth and race hatred. And I guess I was doing that, but I was doing it subconsciously. That wasn't the main purpose. So, so he says that. And again, similarities were drawn. And, you know, like he even says later, uh, similarities are fine. If that's where you want to inference it, whatever. But that's not what Stanley intended it to be. Now, he mentioned somebody named Claremont. Now, Claremont, I guess, had a segment for X-Men, or he ran a little part of it. And um, she likes sleeping up there. Um, and I guess he was equating it to, um, like, civil rights and stuff like that. And I guess that didn't happen for like a decade later. And then one of the other things that they say with Stan Lee is that whenever the films and stuff came out, um, you know, like the Hugh Jackman movies, is that um, it was like a piece against like homophobia and stuff like that, which also Stan Lee admits that that was not part of the program either. He had no intentions of that happening, but people just inferred it. And that's perfectly fine because literature is open for interpretation. But... The reason why I'm pointing this out is because a lot of people say, well, Stan Lee wanted it this way. Stan Lee said it was this way, and that's not the case. Here's a clip for that as well. On this as well. And when the X-Men enjoyed its um, reincarnation on film, there was a lot of talk about how this was really the story of homophobia. Yeah, uh, that's I, absolutely I, right. And that was not what your – wasn't part of the original blueprint. No, it was the furthest thing from my mind. Right. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, so there uh, you have it right there. He – Now – I have one more clip, and this is from, of course, Eric July, who did the video. Make sure you go over to his channel. Make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing over there, just like you are right here. And here's the clip I got for you. Influence. It was not the civil rights era, but people will perpetuate this lie. And it's simply 
not true. It has never been true. X-Men, by the way, are not the only people in the world, uh, characters that have been ostracized and, and, and such. And yes, while there may be some similarities that you can point to regarding f- different eras, to say that they were created to be that way is a lie. And I just gave you the receipts yet again of Stan Lee himself saying that was the furthest from what he was even thinking about. And there we have Eric July confirming what we've all been saying, at least all of us that have, you know, a little thought process. <clears throat> and again, like he's just said, you can pull the similarities out to different eras or different, you know, parts, you know, the civil rights, homophobia, bigotry, whatever the fuck you want to pull. But to come out and say that Stan Lee created him to be that way is a flat out lie. And we had his voice just a little bit ago uh, in uh, two different clips speaking specifically about bigotry and then homophobia that that's not the case. That's not what he wanted it to be. And then the civil rights was done by the Claremont guy. But again, a lot of people don't know about Claremont apparently, um, or at least nobody that has commented on my video. And again, that was like a decade after his reign ended. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, post your thoughts down in the comments below, because that's what the comments are for. And I'll catch you later.